I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, Chattanooga police still don't know whether someone fired a gun near the Naval and Marine Reserve Center Wednesday. Two people called police to report the sound, which may have been a firework or vehicle backfire. Again, nobody's seen a gun, nobody's seen anybody with a weapon, nobody's reported anybody being harmed. We are responding, given the nature of the location, uh, more robustly than we normally would. All available officers responded and nearby Chattanooga State Community College was locked down for two hours. Authorities say no one was injured and no weapon was found. Senator Bob Corker failed to report millions of dollars in CBL stock purchases. His ethics disclosure statements did not cite specific dates on a dozen trades. Corker blames filing errors made by his accountants. The senator, who is one of the wealthiest in Congress, says he's correcting the oversight. Chattanooga's Stone Fort Inn has been sold. It's the third time the hotel has changed hands in the past eight years. So Hotel purchased the inn and plans to upgrade customer service and amenities. Volkswagen's emissions scandal has widened to include cars without diesel engines. The automaker now admits it understated emissions for 800,000 vehicles. Of those, close to 100,000 have gasoline engines. VW says the latest problem could cost the company an extra $2 billion. Shane's Rib Shack is coming to Ottawa. The restaurant will open its third Tennessee location late next year at Cambridge Square. Shane's also has restaurants in Cleveland and Hendersonville. A family of black bears was shot and killed in Gatlinburg. Wildlife officials say the mother bear and three cubs had climbed into cars and cabins and chased people. Officials are searching for a fourth cub, which will also be put down. Tennessee is one of the five fattest states in America. The volunteer state ranks fourth in a new study. It also has the second highest percentage of residents who are physically inactive. Last year, Chattanooga ranked as the eighth unhealthiest city in the country. The number one most overweight state is Mississippi, the least obese, Hawaii. Volkswagen is recalling more than 90,000 cars in the United States. The company says power-assisted brakes can fail on certain models. A fix is expected by the end of March. Until then, VW tells owners to keep driving the cars. Affected models include the Beetle, Golf, Jetta, and Passat from 2015 and 2016. A prison officer accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a convicted murderer has pleaded guilty to violating her oath. Jessica Taylor Neighbors allegedly met with Germante Moss at Hay State Prison early in the morning, May 26th. She now has a new job away from the prison. She'll also be on probation for a year and must pay a $500 fine. It's being called the largest simultaneous balloon launch ever in the South. 22 hot air balloons rose across the Chattanooga area Wednesday morning. Food City launched the balloons to celebrate its new local stores. Finally, Senator John McCain will speak at Fred Thompson's public funeral service in Nashville. Other speakers include Senator Lamar Alexander. Music will be performed by country artists Lee Greenwood and John Rich. The funeral is set for 10 a.m. Friday at War Memorial Auditorium. Turning to weather, today will be cloudy with a high near 73 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 66. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.